Hello, Muster 63 back for the final part, I hope, <laughs> of I Wanna Get Cultured. Uh, this is going to be the third extra video, um, at which I'm going to be taking on uh, some possible mode, or, well, I'm not taking it on anyway, but uh, before, before I get into that anyway, I just wanted to show off, like, the, um, the, um, uh, save file or whatever, so you can see, like, my main playthrough, I, um, cleared the game in 3,311 deaths, and it took me just under eight hours to do, so, uh, that's not too bad. Uh, and I'd also thought I'd show off, uh, the achievements, so, uh, for the first screen of achievements is, uh, for beating all the bosses, or indeed the final one for beating the game. Um, the second screen is, um, got some, uh, some, I don't know what all these are, I mean, this one, obviously, I got for dying on a troll boss, this one I got for not hitting the, uh, uh, which did that one, by the way, I died to on the, that was the um, Miku Tyson one I died on. That one I got for not shooting Pussy Save on the I Want to Celebrate 100 screen, stage 6. And this one I got for getting all the, all the costumes. So uh, here you can see um, all the costumes in their glory. So uh, I don't know what all these are. Um, I know one of them is for uh, beating the, uh, the game on Sun Possible with only 100, you know, with 100 deaths, which uh, I'm never going to do. So. So yeah, I'm not. There's no way I'm going to do a 100% um, you know run of this game or whatever. So I don't know what the other ones are. If anyone does, then please um, leave a comment or something. I don't know if you get something for beating difficult mode, maybe or something. I don't know. Um, um, there are so many different modes like um, low gravity and um, uh, inverted controls and speed that I assume, given there's so you know there's only four that I've unlocked, and I know what one of them is, that you wouldn't get one for beating it on those modes. So I have no idea what those extra achievements are. Frankly, I'm not overly bored anyway. Um, so, uh, whoops, I have the mouse cursor still on the screen. Um, so, uh, let's, uh, so, yeah, let's uh, go to uh, uh, oh, another mode. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to type in 100 and uh, I'm going to start the game off and uh, see how far I get. So, um, this obviously would be the achievement. So, beating the game. Good start. Excellent. Um, <laughs> uh, beating the game on some possible with only 100 deaths and as you can see at the moment it's going extraordinarily well two deaths on uh, the first screen and the first jump yay so like yeah like i said there's no way in the world i'm ever going to beat the game with only 100 deaths when you start thinking about some of the things in stage six uh five and six then uh yeah just not going to happen uh i suspect it's highly unlikely that i would get um beyond uh stage three anyway so uh I'd be devastated if I didn't get past stage one, and maybe stage two, I don't know. Not devastated anyway, but um, I'd hope to maybe get a, a fair few, a fair way through stage uh, two, um, if not if not completing it, but uh, we'll just see how this run turns out anyway. Um, and yeah, apologies again, obviously, that uh, you're not really seeing, well, almost nothing new from this point in time, uh, at least with the uh, the random mode I showed off, and... Uh, and uh, difficult. You were kind of seeing, uh, a, um, you know, stage one screens a little bit differently. Uh, this one, no, it's just, uh, you know, the screen as it as it was. Um, but uh, yeah, again, so feel free just to, uh, yeah, I would, I would say skip this video, but it's the last one, probably gonna be the last one in my uh, in my let's play. So uh, yeah, but um, there. Um, I thought I'd probably since um, since there's, there's nothing really new happening on on screen now. Uh, this would be a kind of a, a decent time to kind of uh, give, give my kind of um, you know um, summing up thoughts on the on the game over, uh, you know, as, a, as a whole. So uh, I know I did a little bit of that uh, having just beaten Biff, but um, I've got to admit I was just um I was just so uh, so much a bit in a daze at having a, how well like the final phase the final uh, phase of Biff went that I was just uh, a bit dumbstruck really <laughs> in terms of trying to trying to speak, um, yeah, in terms of forming coherent thoughts, so, uh, so, uh, yeah, it was all a bit of a kind of a, a bit of a, of a muddle after that, so, um, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe now I've got, now I've had time to kind of, um, catch my breath a bit, you know, and, uh, and reflect on everything, uh, yeah, maybe now is a, is a kind of a good time to, uh, fully reflect on, uh, what has been, I must admit, a, uh, terrific game, um, it's been, you know, it, it, you know, it's been the first one I've done blind, and uh, I've really, really enjoyed it. Actually, um, you know, there are other games that I'm certainly intending to do um, um, blind. So uh, this won't be, the, or I'm certainly hoping this won't be the last uh, game I do that is uh, blind. But um, yeah, I did pick this one for a little bit of a reason. Uh, uh, obviously, having uh, you know seen or viewed the, uh, the the details of it on the on the forums, in that you know that there weren't going to be like you know, enormously uh, challenging uh, bosses, uh, i got to admit. So part of it was that, that yeah, there was no... 
or it did say memorable, I think, didn't it? But um, I got, uh, you know, from the impression I've got in the, in the, in the well, actually, no, the, sorry, the description did say that the, the game would be more about, you know, platforming rather than um, grinding away on bosses. So uh, I've kind of taken, as, as I kind of actually said a couple of times during my stage one uh, video anyway, that uh, I kind of expected the, the bosses to be more just token ones. And uh, so that's exactly how it turned out. And um, from a blind Let's Play point of view, that's... Um, Certainly uh, turned out very good for me in the sense that, uh, yeah, I didn't feel like it or I didn't end up having to just spend hours and hours uh, on bosses and, um, which is uh, all well and good and I say it's, it's bound to happen on, 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 uh, on, other, on other games that I do are blind, but um, yeah, for a first one it was nice to just focus on, uh, uh, on, you know, on, the, on the screens and, uh, and, uh, and everything and just uh, on what's happening there and not have to just, you know, spend ages worrying about what, what on earth. On, oh damn it! I've been dying in a long while. Q like buses and coming along all at once. Um, yeah, having to. No! <laughs> I, I, come on! I was not grabbing the rope on the bloody difficult one, but with good reason. There was no reason not to grab the rope there. Thank you. Right. Um. Yeah, it did, yeah, it just didn't mean I had to kind of like just um, while away hours upon end. Um, oh, I should have checked the damn um, secret room on the um, on the uh, diff on the damn it on um, on difficult mode to see, 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 to see if that was any different. Um, oh well, missed opportunity, bugger there, but uh, yeah. Whoa, no. I am trying desperately, yeah, all the deaths are going to come uh, here now, aren't they? Great. Um, I am trying desperately where I, where I have enough time to like hit the R button and, and try and save myself. Because obviously it's not quite such an imperative thing on the, on the, like the normal, uh, normal Let's Play. But uh, here, if I can obviously save myself a death, then, uh, then I really should be doing that. Okay, well, the screen wasn't that bad. It was just me messing up a bit uh, at the beginning of the tribute one. But... Uh, um, yeah, anyway, um, back to uh, thoughts. So, uh, yeah, it has been a really wonderful, uh, wonderful game. Um, yes, it started to get, you know, it started to get a little bit difficult and um, towards, uh, yes, uh, you know, stage five, six, as one would expect, but um, I certainly don't, you know, have, you know, hold the game against that. It is obviously a Camellia style game. Um, in comparison to Bugger, um, the other Camellia games, um, it was, oh, whoops, ah, no, let me get my timing right here, oh, come on, sorry, just muck it around here now, yeah, okay, there we go, I think, no, wrong, uh, anyway, yeah, uh, in comparison to, uh, the original, I mean, it, it, I think it's been more difficult than that, and that's obviously including, uh, that is, you know, obviously, bugger, including, um, the original one, including you know, actually actual kind of uh, bosses that you would have to kind of fight. But other than, to be honest, other than the timing on this fruit was really annoying. I hate it. Um, other than um, maybe s the no, the first phase of Solgrin, I really don't think the bosses in, uh, in Camellia One are all, are all that uh, or ever really anything to uh, write home about. So uh, yeah, in terms of the uh, like the platforming, um, hang on a minute. No, that's what I need to do. Yeah, stage one cleared. 18 deaths. Uh, eight, is that? Yeah, 18 deaths, I think. Yeah, not too bad. I was just trying to work out. I know I can work out what 100 minus 88 is, but I'm just trying to work out whether or not it... Um, uh, yeah, it would have counted one. You know, it, it's whether or not the counter goes to zero or, or whatever. So, yeah. I'm probably being really stupid, but anyway, yeah. 12 deaths. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, Camellia 1 was... Um, I thought quite easy actually, so, um, well certainly in comparison to other ones, so uh, yeah, I would write, certainly rate this as more difficult than Camellia 1, um, certainly not so than uh, Camellia 2, I thought this was, uh, uh, I thought this was uh, easier, sorry, I got my god, I completely ran the wrong way if I find what I was saying, uh, I meant to say if I didn't that Camellia 1 was easier, easier than this, but um, no, this was definitely easier than Camellia 2, some of the screens in stage 5 of, of Camellia 2 and particularly stage 6 are just really frigging annoying as are the boss as are the bosses i'm thinking particularly stage six but even you know geezer and uh and solgrim from state you know, from obviously stage four and solgrim from stage five uh, uh are definitely things to write home about so uh yeah 
and obviously and, and, and the reason fuck it up, the reason why this is um, nowhere near that difficulty is again the fact that there aren't any, really any bosses here there's only one the final one which um once you get over the initial shock of thinking that you've got to clear screens and that you get you know save points or whatever after each one um that's not so bad either so yeah this is uh, nowhere near as difficult or annoying uh, as a uh, camellia 2 I will give that some of the some of the, uh, the the costume rooms, or probably only um, the ones from five and s five actually turned out to be really fucking irritating. The one from six, although I must I must admit I think that may have just turned out extraordinarily well. I don't know, but um, it, of of the ones on my on this let's play anyway, only I would say the costume from uh, stage five was uh, the one that any one that really posed me any real frustration and annoyance. But other than that, yeah, fine. But, um, yeah, overall, nowhere near the difficulty, obviously, of, of, of Camellia 2. Uh, and that brings us round to uh, Camellia 3, which is just, um, well, almost not even worth talking about, frankly. The difficulty on that is just, uh, lun is just lunacy. Um, so, yeah, unsurprisingly, much, much more uh, easy than uh, Camellia 3. So, uh, yeah, if you'd like a gauge of difficulty, then, uh, yeah, harder than Camellia 1... Um, for quite a lot easier than Camellia 2, but obviously substantially easier than Camellia 3. <sighs> yes, didn't die for the spike. Um, so yeah, what is what is really good about this? I have to I have to uh, um, commend or applaud the uh, you know the creators for their pick of screens. Um, yes, yeah, some are annoying, but they're all all of them actually fairly memorable. And I kind of and I kind of come I kind of. Um, Form that opinion from the fact that when I was going through stage six, I think at least anyway, that I was kind of able to remember, you know, all the screens that I kind of cleared before, or in terms of re referencing the 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 other screens that had already appeared in the game. So the screens really were, uh, for me, most in to, for most for most part uh, memorable. So I've got to hand it to uh, yeah the creators for their pick of screens. Um, all of them do look. Fairly kind of um, you know visually impressive or have a nice kind of gimmick uh, in place. So yeah, the screens are yeah very nicely chosen. Um, the other thing which is definitely worth definitely worth mentioning, which uh, was uh, you know oh no probably the final jump on that screen really um, is the uh, is the yeah which was meant damn it was mentioned as a as a, as a kind of a as a feature of the game, or what is the uh, the soundtrack? And uh, yeah, I would wholeheartedly agree with that. It's got bugger. <laughs> it's got a uh, amazing soundtrack. Um, again, all of them fairly memorable. The only one I think that packs, um, or the one that I thought was actually the worst one, maybe was the the uh, the the, uh, the soundtrack to stage three, but. Even that was kind of catchy in places, but um, some of the ones in stage five and six, oh my god, they were awesome. So yeah, the soundtrack is um, phenomenal. Uh, sorry, I've gone quiet here while I concentrate on that little bit, but uh, why am I rushing this? I have no idea really, but uh, it seems to work anyway, so yay. Um, what else is there? Um, okay, I guess the yeah yeah the, yeah. So the soundtrack was yeah the soundtrack was was amazing. So that's a definite plus point to the game. Um, oh whoa, that timing sucked. <laughs> um, I guess the bosses yeah they're worth they're definitely worth talking about. The um, this this they're all you know pretty pretty hilarious. It's nice to kind of get your feel like you've got your own back somewhat on the on the kid Giza Solgrin all bosses that um, would really piss you off the first time you played them in their respective games so um, yeah it's nice to feel like you've got some uh, revenge um, against against those ones um, yeah I mean they're all they're all they're all nice they're, they're really nicely kind of done um, I do enjoy um, actually as um, I can't remember whether I bugger yeah I think I've already mentioned it didn't I in, in terms of getting over the fight the, the shock of uh, not having uh, or having screens that you've got to clear on the final boss, but once you get yes over that uh, initial shock, the final boss is actually uh, pretty good. Um, 
I think phase two is maybe a little bit uh, too random for my liking, but uh, it's, yeah, it still didn't take me that uh, long to clear it, so uh, I can't complain about it too much. Um, God knows again what screens you might have got to clear in stage three, but um, again, that just honestly, I did that first go pretty much as soon as I got by the uh, the first. No. <laughs> Oh, no, come on, this is, no, this is an easy screen. Um, oh, come on, that's four, five unnecessary deaths here. Jesus, no. I, I shouldn't get, yeah, exact again, so worked up because I'm not going to nowhere near clear the game, but still, five unnecessary deaths on this screen, not good. Um, yeah, I've got no idea what the um, other screens could have been on the, on stage, uh, on that final, fi yeah, final phase of, of Biff. You could have thrown... Presumably stage five or even six screens at me, but you gave me a stage three screen, which I can't complain at all about. So, yeah, the final boss was fun. Watch out for the face. Uh, and that brings us actually to the last screen of uh, stage two. So, uh, yes, unless I have an absolute nightmare, we are going, or I am going to at least make it to stage three, which is good. Um, yeah, I said, I think the final, the yeah, phase two was just maybe the slightly uh, random, but. Uh, but, um, well, yeah, like I said, can't really complain. And, uh, yes, we are done with stage two. Woohoo! Let's just make, concentrate a little bit and make sure the Goomba doesn't come my way. Now it's gone in the complete opposite direction. Good. Um, what else about the game? Yeah, replayability, then, I guess, is probably... Which I think is one of the staples of, again, of what of what the whole concept of the game is. And they do... And, you know, it is referenced quite heavily on the, uh, on the, on the, the forum page. Um, adding a sense of replayability to the game. So... Um, uh, let's rush this bit because that's how I got through the uh, got through the previous time. Um, yeah, the ra you know the uh, the uh, whoops um, the random mode, adding all those extra gimmicks, including you know uh, obviously you know think mechanics and such as like you know the speed and the inverted controls and all those other ones add a, obviously a huge amount of uh, replayability to the game, as as indeed does difficult mode or even the mode I'm playing now I mean I guess the, you know to be honest this mode is um gonna be for only those people who are I mean you can still play it I mean you, you know if you've got you know you can probably you know if you've got like a, a you know friends that you play this game with then you could obviously um set yourself um you know the uh, the challenge of seeing who can get the furthest if not completing the game so you yeah, have there's all what make sure I hold right don't get screwed over by that <laughs> um uh, yeah, seeing who gets the furthest, so, or, or or whatever. So yeah, that's something. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I, this one aside, really, the, you know, the the random, you know, the the random modes and the extra gimmicks do add a, obviously a, a bug, uh, huge amount of potential replayability. Uh, if you like, uh, obviously, uh, those kind of things. I mean, I I must admit, I probably will uh, go and uh, you know see see about maybe uh, clearing the game, maybe on a uh, maybe low gravity or. Oh, boy, I jumped over the spike. Great. Or on uh, low gravity or meteor mode, maybe. Um, possibly the ice one as well, but um, maybe not. Certainly not speed or uh, inverted controls. Those ones for, for me are just ones I would definitely uh, avoid, since I'm uh, not a fan of either of those mechanics uh, in the first uh, at all. So uh, yeah, those will be ones I would tend to avoid. But um, those ones aside. Um, yeah, I might, uh, you know, go, you know replay, replay this game quite a bit actually, and see if I see, you know, see if I can go and make my way through the game on the other modes. And uh, yay, it's this screen, <laughs> which uh, all of a sudden, apart from now, when I just died on, on again the last manoeuvre, all of a sudden I, uh, I love. <laughs> I had a freaking nightmare on it on, uh, on the, on ah, on the let's play and possibly now as well, but not on the, uh, not when having to beat Biff. Amazing, go figure. Let's hope I can do this uh, as smoothly as I did on... Well, obviously not now, since I've already died, but... Ah, oh, I didn't double jump for some stupid reason. Wow. Yeah, see, I, I, see, I told you this sc screen was a pain in the neck. It was so lucky that I cleared I cleared that. I, yeah, I just... I, well, yeah, I just... Yeah. I can't believe how... Obviously, again, some element of skill to it, but... I've got to say... I... Yeah, I, I can't help but feel I was so damn fortunate. Um, yeah, replayability. Yeah, um, difficult mode, again, adds something to probably less so than the sun possible one, uh, in the sense of it being, again, something really difficult that you could obviously do. But 
for probably something that's more, uh, you know, yeah. that was a really annoying death, um, atta- you know, clearable for people. I mean, I imagine, I mean, possibly, yeah, probably me as well. There will become a point maybe where it just gets, uh, you know, way too difficult to the point of view that it's just far too, damn it, um, frustrating for me. But I still can't help, I still can't help but feel, obviously, it's given that you have got an infinite amount of goes at it, that, damn it, um, that that would be still, you know, while still being ridiculously hard and obnoxious, um, would still be easier than trying to do, than trying to clear some possible. At least on a hundred deaths, anyway. If you wanted that achievement, um, and obviously I could have set myself up. Damn it! I realised I didn't get my double jump, so I at least I have to save myself a death there. Um, I could at least I could obviously um, set myself a of input another number. So uh, you know, I don't you know I, as as we kind of saw at the beginning here it, on the on the the blind go, first go through of the game. It took me you know over three or three thousand three hundred deaths to do. So. Um, I don't know what a good number would be, or a, you know, a kind of a challenging, but well, yeah, a challenging but achievable number. Damn it, bugger! Um, would be for me to to uh, you know, tr- come on now. That's three in a row that was stupid. Um, you know, in terms of trying to beat some possible, maybe off the top of my head, I'm thinking maybe two thousand might be a good. Ugh. Oh come on, no. Uh, a good number to, to input. Oh, come on. Uh, and give that a go, but... Oh, wow. This screen's not my friend. As indeed it was not on the... Uh, on the Biff fight, because you kept giving me it. <laughs> and uh, it's not easy to clear. Or even more so in one uh, in one go, without that midpoint save. Oh, and probably throwing uh, gimmicks like speed and ice and whatever the hell else you threw at me. Yes, I think. Right, good. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, 2,000 possibly? I don't know. It would be... Bugger. Oh, in time. Um, yeah, difficult to say, really. But um, if I went back and did, uh, you know, thought about doing some possible, then maybe 2,000. But uh, you're not going to get an achievement for uh, for clearing it in, you know, in, in uh, any more than the, the, the 100. So um, I don't know whether there's uh, necessarily all that much incentive to... Uh, to play uh, some possible mode uh, for me anyway. I might as well just go through the regular game and because uh, if I, you know, if I did get, get got two thousand and I got all the way to the final boss and then I died, I'd kind of feel like um, well, and then obviously and then and then well, according to the thing, it's like a permanent game over. So I presume you can't do anything more after that. So uh, yeah, that would feel a little bit um, not deflating necessarily. Yes, but you know, feel like a bit like oh, well, I put all that effort in to go through the game and. Um, I've got to the final boss and then can't continue anymore, so I might as well just play on the regular mode and see how, on, you know, on the regular mode and see how many uh, deaths it takes me. So, <laughs> so yeah, some possible to me, some possible, whoops, some possible mode for me is probably a little bit of a not much point to it because I say again, 100 deaths is just uh, um, silly for me because it's just uh, there's no way in hell. If I could clear stage three, then uh, I can. Damn it! I'd consider that probably um, an achievement. I don't know how how uh, much. Oh damn it! There's a spike. Thanks. There's a spike there that's com- that's obscured by the damn number in the bottom corner that I didn't see. It's not completely obscured, admittedly. You can see it if you look at it, but <sighs> I must admit I wasn't. Right. Thank you for that. There was about uh, I don't know how many, maybe three or four more deaths there than I perhaps should have had if I'd noticed that spike was there. Ugh. I get the feeling we're pretty a long way through stage three. So I'm quite pleased with how this has gone so far. I've got to admit. Oh, this one's probably going to be the death, isn't it? Um, yeah, I must have kind of run a little bit out of things to say now. But uh, yeah, other the, the replayability on this game, yeah, just is is quite is quite substantial. So. Uh, yeah, kudos to yeah the creators for making a a game with lots of replayability, that's that's lots of fun and uh, a challenge. Ah, come on! Yes, that's what I think we're pretty near the end of stage three. Ah, 
Yeah, I, I had a yeah, I had a a, a a blast playing this. It's um yeah, I just I, uh, I've kind of run out of things to say probably about uh, yeah <laughs> yeah as you can kind of tell here. But I've talked about the uh, yeah I've talked about the, the, the kind of the game itself. Um, in the, you know it's uh it's difficulty kind of um uh, level. Is, is, is in, you know, in comparison to uh, and in comparison to the other uh, Camellia games, I've talked about the uh, um, the gameplay itself, the screens. Uh, I've talked about the music, and I've talked about the uh, the uh, replayability. So uh, yeah, I then might and uh, oh, sorry, the uh, the bosses as well. So uh, yeah, I would um, I thoroughly recommend uh, uh, recommend this game uh, if you were thinking about it. It's it's one of the uh... ah. yes, one of the yeah, one of the most fun ones I've I've, um, I've played. I still I still wouldn't quite crack my um, maybe top two or three, but um, yes, we are very near the end. This is the final screen. Don't restart when you haven't hit the save. This is the final screen of stage three. Um, yeah, yeah. As I was saying, it wouldn't probably quite crack my top um, three, but I, I would seriously probably put have to give it, or at least have a serious think about where it would sit in in uh, like a top uh, top five. I uh, don't expect this is going to take 20, another 26 deaths, so I'm pretty optimistic stage 3 will be done. Thank you. No, you're not. <laughs> Garbic Farble has got on him as well. Possible look like a drawing of penis. <laughs> Which I, I, was, I did notice before, or at least of the, um, that's the penis drawing anyway, before, but I didn't, uh, didn't point out. Oh, yay. <laughs> I forgot, I, I must admit, I completely forgot um, what stage four was going to be. So, uh, this might actually go on for a little bit longer, because um, a lot of the saves at the beginning of this, of the tower, uh, from memory, were quite easy. So, um... Yeah, I certainly feel like I actually want to, uh, yeah, continue this. I definitely want to continue this on and just see how far I get. But um, will I include all this in the recording? I don't know. I've kind of, I kind of almost now definitely have come to almost the end of it, uh, what I wanted to say. So, uh, whoops. Um, well, I guess uh, I can say what's. Um, I guess I can. Whoops. I guess I can uh, say maybe, maybe we, we'll, maybe we'll, we will be ending sooner rather than later. Um, I can say what's uh, coming up next. So um, by the time that this is uploaded, I will certainly have got uh, all the scripts and everything I need done for my uh, uh, Mega Man 5 um, Let's Play Perfect Run series or whatever. So yeah, next up will be uh, will definitely be Mega Man 5. Yes. Um, after that, uh, not too sure. Um, it's probably time for me to upload for do another kind of. Um, uh, uh, update video or something after that, just to say what's uh, kind of coming next. Because I think I've kind of come. Am I in the I'm in the floor there, aren't I? What the hell? What is that? Okay, interesting. Um, but yeah, really, yeah, really looking forward to uh, uh, to getting into Mega Man Five. Um, not whoops. Oh, oh, that's a really, really cheap death right there. Um, yeah, feel, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely feel like I need to get back into uh, into something else other than uh, um, whoops. Um, yeah, I want to be game. I want to be games for uh, uh, at least for next. So not that this has been like um, bad by any stretch of the imagination, but um, it's, it's nice. To, it's nice to kind of uh, just uh, mix things up a little bit and have a you know uh, give myself a, a break from this kind of thing. Uh, uh, every now and then. 
I, say, I, I, I still do have fun with these games, otherwise I wouldn't be doing let, wouldn't be doing Let's Plays uh, of them. But um, some of them can be, um, damn it, some of them can be uh, draining. Still being fun, but uh, yeah, I do feel quite uh, drained at the, at, uh, at the end of this uh, Let's Play. It's gone on for, well, yeah, it's, it's definitely by far my uh, second longest uh, project. Uh, I think this is this will be uh, part three. No! And I even died there because I couldn't hit the hot button in time before it landed on the spike. Um, ah. Uh, yeah, 20, this is I think part 27. So, uh, yeah, behind Boshy, this is... Ah, uh, oh, come on. Um, yeah, definitely my second longest one. So, uh, but it hasn't it hasn't felt all that long. Oh, come on! I must I must be able to get to this next save. Jesus, I should have been able to get a lot farther because I've had at least about ten deaths on this bit. That's just stupid. Anyway, yeah, um, twenty seven parts. Definitely my second longest. But it hasn't felt like that. I don't know why. Come well, Comedia two. Although that's only nineteen, and uh, whilst it might possibly get to twenty if I can ever. Um, get a computer or laptop that will allow me to, uh, to decently uh, attempt the final boss. Then uh, there may be a twentieth part to that. But uh, any, even if, even if, even if there is, it's obviously not um, in terms of video. Whoops, in terms of video numbers, going to be as long as this. But some of the parts to that were like you know getting on for or possibly were like fifty minutes or so. So I reckon in terms of um, actual length of uh, the let's play, that one was probably uh, the longest. Or, or somewhere close to Boshi. Might have even overtaken it because all my Boshi, Boshi videos uh, in my first Let's Play, I had to, I couldn't record longer than 15 minutes. So, uh, well, sorry, I couldn't upload longer than 15, a video that was longer than 15 minutes. So, uh, so yeah, Comedia 2 may well have even overtaken that. Yes. So yeah, this hasn't felt especially long. Maybe as well because I have had enormous fun with it. Comedia 2 was just. Uh, at certain points in time, you know, stage five, six, and the uh, the boss rush, and the uh, off stage six, and that final chase, and the, you know, the chase segment, and even you know, all that just just drags out. And actually, what I haven't done in any in, in any of this um, any of this let's play so far is cut anything. I sped up the uh, the very first bit of the minesweeper section um, just because that was just um, I was approaching that all wrong in the sense that I thought the um, Ah, uh, the the the, 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 uh, the kind of randomly clicking around would kind of um, do like what it does in Minesweeper and, and give you kind of like a, a massive area to start off with, but that didn't happen. So uh, yeah, I was approaching that all wrong. Um, but that aside, and I say that you know it was only about three minutes or so that I uh, sped up. Um, I haven't cut anything. Whereas you know, Camellia Two was huge time cuts. Obviously, you know, things like bosses and, and various stages, you know, they were just going on so damn long. So, yeah, I've managed to do a blind let's play of this game without cutting anything, which, um, yeah, I'm rather pleased about, I must admit. So, which certainly indicates to me that the difficulty has been, yeah, manageable. What the hell did I just, no, nah, last go now, and that we really will be done. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I got to the 7469. I got to the uh, third way, the uh, the the, uh, the third point uh, of this. Uh, so yeah, I got to the 2,000 feet marker. Damn it! <laughs> yep, I suck. Apparently, I don't think I did. I think I, you know, a hundred deaths, uh, getting to, uh, you know, a third of the way through stage four wasn't too bad. So uh, yeah, I'd take that if if uh, you'd offered me at the start. So uh, yeah. That really is it. This is the end of I Want to Get Cultured. Um, I'll say maybe once again, yeah, I, I had a blast playing it. I'd thoroughly recommend it to people. If you're a fan of the Camellia series, it's definitely one checking out. It's uh, more difficult than Camellia 1, but nowhere near approaching the difficulty of Camellia 2. So I think with enough perseverance and patience um, that uh, most players would be able, would be able to, would be able to uh, clear this game. So, yeah, I will leave it there. Uh, as I said, uh, next up will be Mega Man 5 Let's Play Perfect Runs. So, uh, yeah, hope to see you for those. Cheerio.